Oh man, so any black dude who prefers to spend nearly their whole career in Utah, oh, oh, it's something about him that ain't right. Like it ain't right. One obvious call for concern is the racism in that city, but with Utah's affiliation with that Mormon church called the FLDS, you know, the Latter-day Saints, and their former president Warren Jeffs, who happens to be serving a life sentence for SA on a child. You can say that Malone felt safe in a state where they love to bring him young. So what's going on is the past weekend, the NBA celebrated the All-Star, the All-Star weekend in Salt Lake City, Utah. Now, since, you know, Carl Malone is the NBA legend that played in that city, as I mentioned before, they invited him to be the judge or a judge for the slam dunk contest. Now, many people were not feeling this. They were not rocking with it, you know. This could have slid probably like 10, 15 years ago before we was in this stage of information that we are now with the internet and Twitter doing what it does, but it ain't sliding nowadays. And the reason being because people are now aware of this crazy situation right here. So when Carl Malone was 20, he impregnated a 13 year old girl who then gave birth to a boy. The girl's parents didn't want to publicize the baby's birth because they were afraid of jeopardizing Carl's future prospects. Carl went on to deny the child anyway. Even once the paternity of the child was proven unequivocally, he refused to provide financial support, arguing that $125 a week was too much in child support. And this was despite earning $3 million in the NBA at that time. Now, Carl and his son finally met when the young man was 17 years old. And upon meeting that young man, Carl said, It's too late for me to be a father to you. You have to make your own way. His son, Demetrius Bell, went on to play five seasons in the NFL. So yeah, this is something that I would have never known. It would have never came across my radar if it wasn't for social media. And with this being um, very, very public and well-known information at this point in time, like I don't know what was the NBA's thinking in regards to this or shoot, if they even cared in the first place. So Carl Malone actually responded to the backlash of all of this shit right here. He says, I'm not discussing any of the backlash. I don't care that's my life that's my personal life and now i deal with that like i've had to deal with everything so whatever so yeah call him alone don't give a damn it is what it is and that's how you say he's moving about the situation now malone's son demetrius bell has spoken in the past about the situation he says um i cheated as if my mother went to the sperm bank i don't hate him for not being in my life it made me a better person now, demetrius had also claimed that he never went search for a father figure as he never felt the need to do so he says i grew up around good people bell has stated i never turned to a father figure i was lucky i didn't need one i'm happy i don't need anything else now the great sports mind Bomani Jones was speaking on this show Game Theory on HBO. He was asked about his thoughts on Carl Malone being at the All-Star Game. What are your thoughts on Carl Malone being a huge part of All-Star Weekend? You could basically make this question, what are your thoughts about Carl Malone and stop it right there. Like it, it doesn't have to be an occasion because I hated Carl Malone so much before I had a great reason. I only had good ones. <laughs> Like, just being a dirty player, elbowing people all the time, you know, that sort of stuff. And then, you know, we find out the whole thing, if you don't know this, that when he was in college, Carl Malone had a baby with a 12-year-old. There's never been any sort of reckoning for Malone because Malone lays low. Like, he just out there in the country, driving his semi, doing whatever, whatever it is that Carl Malone does out there. But if you're doing something for Utah basketball, it's like Carl Malone. So we got Carl Malone and John Stockton. John Stockton is crazy conspiracy guy. And I'm just kind of like, I know a lot of people that think crazy things, as long as you don't say it on the microphone there, I guess, right? But Carl Malone, you kind of supposed to leave him at home, except if you're the league. I heard a lot of y'all when I told y'all those details that you'd never heard them before, all right? And so why is Carl Malone not there? Then you make this more story. And so I would imagine that there's a very cynical outlook on how to play it. So I never want to see Carl Malone ever, all time, any other point. But he's going to be there and it's going to be wild uncomfortable for a lot of people. And then tomorrow we're going to forget it ever happened. You guys heard how shocked the audience was? It seems as if a lot of people did not know this information. And that's probably why the NBA thought they could go ahead and slide it past everyone and have Carl Malone be at the events. 
Now this dude pressed Bomani saying, they always get a nigga to do the job. No one asked that question, bro, come on, you read that shit off a card to act like you're answering a question from a viewer when y'all already talked about that in the production meetings and um, you're slick, I give it to you. So Bomani says, I don't check the questions in advance. And two, there's something quite ironic about this call for solidarity in defense of Carl Malone. So, um, that's something right there. That, that, that's, that's, that's really interesting right there. I'm really interested in hearing what y'all got to say about this whole situation in the comment section below. Can you rock with Carl Malone knowing this information? And, and I honestly don't hear many people that are actually Carl Malone fans. I've, I've never met a Carl Malone fan in my whole entire life. So I would be surprised people defending him knowing what they know on top of that. <laughs> But I'm going to end the video on this funny ass skit right here. This from Lou Ratchet. They say people greeting John Stockton all weekend. Check this out right here. Hey, you know they got your mans. They got your mans on sex assault charges. Yeah, the nigga you be hanging with. <laughs> the nigga you be hanging with. Oh, yeah, sex offender. And he was your mans. He was your boy. <laughs> you grew up with him. That's crazy, man. You ain't know what he was doing? You ain't feel bad at all? Like, no guilt, none of, none of that shit. Man, that's funny as hell, dog. But I'm gonna go ahead and sign out. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. I'm gonna go and get it out of here, though. It's your boy Stacy. Yo.